So today I picked up a box of stuff for $20. That's it right there. Let's go through it together. Papa from Papa Bell Low Gauge Trains. So as I said in the intro, I picked up a box of stuff right over my shoulder right here. I saw just what's on the top of it. I picked it up for $20. So let's take a look at it together and we'll see if I got a good deal or not. I'm pretty sure I did just because of the main thing that was on the top. Let's take a look together. By the way, I found this on uh, Facebook Marketplace. So this was the item that I saw right away. And I figured, hey, I at least did halfway decent. As you can see, it's a nice station platform. It is not a lighted plat platform, but it is a nice one. Good condition. We got uh, got some cobwebs. We've got the four signs that are all intact. It has, uh, uh, yeah, they're the same on each side. So this one has a, a like a, yeah, this one has a schedule on it. This one's got a Mopar, Mopar advertisement, a Lionel advertisement, and this one's got a, uh, a map and in fine print, it says vacations by train and there's different train routes. So it, look, it looks nice, I like that a lot. So one of the other things that I did notice right off the bat, although, oh wow, just found this. Um, the Menards guys might recognize Let's see if I can get, hold it. Well, Jack the dog. Okay. Um, had two of the uh, bridge pieces, both in good condition. Uh, let's see what else we got here. All right, in boxes. Um, box, oh, here they are. Boxes that seemed empty. Um, Got the Lionel, these are the illuminated bumpers. This is a set of two. I have two here. I have two boxes. Another. Yeah, so just the two boxes of them. And uh, they look like nothing's broken on them. So those are those are bad. Let's see what else we got in here. Got a nice K-line sign. That's kind of cool. Um, got not one but two of uh, probably these are probably for 027, the road crossings. Um, be interesting to find out if this is a model train piece if any of you guys know whether or not that's an actual model train piece or not kind of neat it's a fire engine oh we have there's an empty box i have um a set of uh, a set of unopened instructions for a uh, lionel manual switches, a uh, 5021 and 5022, completely unopened. Um, what do we have here? Is there anything in this? No, but it's an envelope for uh, some 027 pins, a warranty card, um, a con an instruction set for a watchman's shanty house. What do we have here? This is another set of instructions for well, just this standard gauge issued. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what this is. Um, yeah, not sure what it is. I'll have to take a closer look at that. Um, well, I wish I could have got the stuff all these instructions for. Here's the Lionel, the billboard blinker, the blinking billboard. That's kind of cool. Um, what do we 
we have here? Uh, Electra Level called Electra Level Pro. I don't even think this is a model railroad thing. Huh. Yeah, it's for an electric uh, leveler. It's kind of different. Um, what do we have here? This has the Tyco name on it. Um, some type of a box. Uh, let's see. Press do not strike. Prezomatic. Um, I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a. Um, an HO guy. Tyco's HO. And something, some kind of a speaker box in here. I'll hook some power out to see what it is. Maybe I can use it. I don't know. One guy is here again. You know what this is? Is a closer look at it? Let me know. I don't have a clue. Um, another instruction. Okay, these are the instructions for those bumpers. Um, <laughs> okay, we got, now, I mean, I think this, this will go to my grandson. Army guys, some of the classics. The kneeling gunner, we got, ah, ah, grenade thrower. Oh God, this is bringing me back to my childhood. Um, I think that's a German soldier. Here's the guy that with the, looking with the binoculars. This is this is fun. I'm bringing me back to my old oh, flamethrower dude. He's always good. Boy, that's bringing me back to my childhood there. And uh, of course, these all, all the classic radio, Radio Man. Okay, that's cool. All right, what else we got in here? So we got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like a whole set of uh, the Lionel railroad signs. I do have a lot of these. Now I got a bunch more. Um, now this is kind of neat. Um, these are all in red. These are some different signs. I'm going to have to paint some of these because I will use them. This one says fire zone on it. This is a mailbox. We got some stop signs, street signs, um, and then some people. These guys are a little, well, there's, yeah, they're a little bit too big. Um, we got a fireman holding his boots. We got a cop on the street. A lot of different working people. Here's another fireman with an ax. Here's a fireman with a hose. I got a fire hydrant. Ah, uh, there's your dog, a couple of street lights, street sign, park bench, I know I can use that. There's a stand-up mailbox, I'll paint that. Um, we got some electrical connections of some type. This is a, uh, oh, there we go, it's a lock-on, but is it a line now? No, it's a K-line lock-on. Um, Not 100% sure what these are, even if they're train related. It says CNCNO, three bolts on the side. This one has nothing on it, and I, no, they're not magnetized. I'm not sure they're, oh, here we go. We can always use these. Small little box that's got some metal and plastic pins in it, so we'll definitely be using those. Um, I have to figure out what these are for. Here again, you guys know, let me know. Some plastic pieces, of some type. They're about the width of track. And width of track, so then we got a uh, 45 and a 90 degree crossover. This is 027. We got some uh, one, two, three, four pieces of 027 straights. Almost done here. Um, this is not Lionel. Wondering if it's Marks, but it's a uh, some type of a control piece. It's gonna be a bit, it's got the five line on it. We'll find out what that is. Um, 
Now he's used his flannel trays. We have a, uh, uh, probably a policeman or a conductor. A little bit of wire, a couple little oddball plastic pieces. Um, huh, nice good piece of plastic. Um, I'll definitely use that as a building piece when I'm building a building. And then this, this one's kind of cool. It's a really nice, it's a very heavy um, American Flyer Tender. Uh, um, I'm gonna have to research to see what, um, what uh, engine this went with, because that's the plug-in for the engine. And this thing's almost a couple of pounds. It's, like I say, it's heavy. Underside of it, got your pickups. It's a, uh, yeah. Again, you get American Flyer guys. You know what it goes to? Let me know. I'd like to find out. Definitely would like to find out what the, what this is. It doesn't. I don't see any numbers on it. It has a switch on the bottom, on and off switch or. I would imagine this is for sound. It has dual pickups on the bottom. Um, yeah, definitely, please. If you know what this is for, what set it went with, please hit me up in the comments. I would love to know what this is. And, uh, and then I got a box that used to have grapes in it. <laughs> okay, all right, guys, so that's everything I picked up here. Once again, I only paid 20 bucks for all this stuff. Um, the guy was really cool. I contacted him during the week. I was out on the road. I've said a million times I'm a truck driver. I was out on the road and I saw it on Facebook. So I contacted him. I said, hey, will you hold it for me? Um, we made an agreement that he'd hold it for me. So I picked it up today and this is everything I got. I definitely got my $20 worth. All right, so that's it for this, for this particular episode. As always, you know, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about me. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, I love the subscribers. I got a ton of other videos. Please watch those. And uh, guys, have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, wonderful week. Thanks for viewing. Choo-choo!